Good day, grade tens. In this module, we are talking about the hydrosphere. But in order to understand the hydrosphere, we need to find out where it fits in with the four spheres that are our Earth. So let's just watch this and see what we learn. All right, we're talking about the four spheres of the Earth today. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. Let's talk about the atmosphere first. The atmosphere is basically all the gases surrounding the Earth. So when I talk about that, I mean, okay, here's a nice picture of the Earth from space. There's the surface of the Earth all the way up to this point where you can't really see anything anymore. And that's the atmosphere, okay? Gases that we can't normally see. The atmosphere is where weather happens. Whenever we have storms or rain or anything, uh, the atmosphere is where this is occurring in. Um, wind currents are a big deal with the atmosphere because they transport things like clouds a long distance. Okay, if we didn't have that, then most of the Earth would be a desert. Um, since we're talking about a little bit of that, the atmosphere spreads that water through the water cycle. We remember that the water cycle is basically the sun's rays pounding the Earth with, uh, with energy, making things hot. When water in its liquid form is heated up, whether it's uh, in the soil, in oceans, or in lakes, it will tend to rise. Uh, that is called evaporation. Once that, that water vapor rises up into the atmosphere high enough, it'll start to condense into clouds, and as that uh, condensation increases, increases, pretty soon you have a nice uh, big cloud here, and that water vapor will return to its liquid form in the form of precipitation, which would be rain, snow, sleet, or hail. All right, let's talk about the hydrosphere now. It's all the water in the world, all of it. I mean rivers, I mean lakes, I mean oceans. Now the big deal with that is that we have ocean currents as well ocean currents will transport warm and cool water all around the globe. It's basically the heating and cooling system of the Earth. Um, let me get back down to here. All right, now the water cycle is also not just how water is transported, but how the hydrosphere changes. Okay, in uh, oceans and lakes, it's liquid. As it evaporates, it is gas. As it condenses, it turns back into its liquid form. All right, now that we have that all over with, let's talk about the lithosphere. Lithosphere, it's the Earth's crust, it's what we walk on, it's what our rocks are, are made of and stuff. So we can see the lithosphere is this tiny little, little skin that surrounds the Earth, kind of like an apple. It has a thin layer of skin, but all this kind of crazy good-looking stuff inside here. All this is inside the Earth. This would be liquid hot magma. Um, uh, don't touch this. Uh, tectonic plates are a part of the lithosphere. They create mountains, valleys, volcanoes, even oceans. When those tectonic plates separate, they create oceans. Wow, isn't that cool? Okay, now another important thing about the lithosphere is that over time, uh, the rocks that are a part of the lithosphere can be turned into soil. Uh, we have weathering processes, such as rain falling down on this big rock, wind blowing this rock around, maybe freezing and, and thawing forces. All of those will separate little bits and pieces of this rock at a time. And we can see down here at the bottom of it, those little bits and pieces of rock have deposited at the bottom. This will be uh, eventually turned into soil. All right. Erosion over time turns rocks into soil. Now the biosphere, since we're talking about biosphere, uh, soil, uh, let's transition right into plants and animals. Biosphere is all the plants and animals in the world. All these different plants, all these different animals, and of course we see as a wonderful backdrop, backdrop the soil which we just talked about is the lithosphere. Okay, that's how these things are kind of connected. The soil in the lithosphere brings uh, forth uh, life in the form of plants, which also allows animals to exist. And then you have uh, their forces such as uh, the atmosphere and, and hydrosphere, all 
interacting to bring life to this earth. Oh, how nice. Okay. That's the four spheres. Now that you know where the hydrosphere fits in with the rest of the earth, we will be discussing more about the hydrosphere and the different parts of it in the next few lessons. Thank you, grade 10s. Have a great day.